Before 1.52, Firewalla's family protect feature used a third-party DNS service to filter content. However, since that's a DNS service, you couldn't use it with Unbound or DOH. In this release, we've added a native mode, which allows you to create additional blocking rules on devices under Family Protect and further customize access on your network. To activate this feature, just scroll down on your Firewalla box's main page to the Family button, and then tap on the Family Protect toggle to switch it on. Family Protect is in native mode by default. You can click on it to customize it. There are several flows that are by default blocked, and Active Protect and AdBlock are by default in strict mode, but you can customize this however you want. So you can unblock some flows or switch strict mode off. You can also switch back to the classic third-party DNS serv service by selecting third-party up here. Don't forget to save your changes, and that's Family Protect Native. With this new release, we're introducing an auto configuration wizard to help you quickly and easily customize your box. You can trigger it by tapping the settings icon at the top right of your box's main page. Then tap features. At the top of your screen, you should see a prompt to customize your Firewalla. Tap customize now to use the wizard. Tap continue to begin the customization process. You'll get a series of questions asking you about your network and your needs. This first section is all about your network. It can help you prioritize traffic. This second section covers data usage and caps. The third section is about network quality. And the final section is about security and protection. At the end of the customization process, you'll see a list of the configurations you just made for your network. Tap Done to finalize everything. And that's how to use the auto configuration wizard. The Firewalla app can now show you your top blocked flows by region and destination. On your main page, tap on Blocked Flows, then tap on Top Blocked. You'll see two lists. It might take a little while to load. This first list, top regions plus inbound, are flows coming from the outside into your network that Firewalla has blocked. These flows are sorted by region. You can tap show all to see everything. The second list, top destinations plus outbound, are flows going from inside your network out. These flows are sorted by the destinations your devices are trying to connect to. Again, you can tap show all to see everything. The time range is by default the last 24 hours, but you can customize that by tapping up here on the arrow. And that's the top blocked flows feature. You can now create DNS entries to resolve certain domains to specific IP addresses. You used to only be able to do this via the command line, but we've added this feature to the app to make it easier to manage. On your main page, Scroll down and tap DNS service. Tap custom DNS rules here at the bottom, then tap to add a custom DNS rule. You'll need to enter a domain and an IP address you want it to be resolved to. For example, I can direct myfiles.home.com to some IP address. Don't forget to save your rule when you're done. And that's how you can make a custom DNS entry rule. When you're setting up a route to send your traffic over a certain interface, you can now specify your route preference for traffic going to external hosts. To do this, scroll down and tap Routes. You can make a new route if you want to by tapping Add Route, but I have an existing route, so I'll just look into that by tapping on it. Under Route Preference, you'll see two options. Static is selected by default and means that when the selected interface isn't available, the traffic gets dropped. Preferred means that when the selected interface isn't available, traffic can go through an alternate route. This way, even if your preferred interface is disconnected, your traffic can still be sent, just through a different path. Tap on Save to confirm your changes, and that's how you can specify a preferred route. 
In the past, if you wanted to migrate your data and settings from one box to another, you had to manually migrate data after the initial setup. Now, Firewalla supports a complete version of box restoration and migration. With this update, Firewalla can migrate more data during initial setup, including network configurations, routes, data usage, and more. When installing a new box, the app will automatically check if there are any backups of the same box or boxes of the same model. If it detects anything, it'll provide you with options to restore from backup or replace an old box in addition to the option to set up your box as new. To restore a box from a backup file, select Restore from Backup. You'll see a list of the features that will be migrated. Tap Continue to move forward. The app will then set up your firewall a box for you, which I'll speed up for the sake of time. After it's done, tap Get Started to finish the process. To migrate data from a currently active box and replace it, select Replace an old box. You'll then be asked to select a firewall a box to replace. After you make your selection, unplug your Ethernet cables from your old box and plug them into the new box, then tap Continue. You'll then see a list of the features that will be migrated. Tap Continue to move forward. The app will then set up your firewall box for you, which I'll speed through. After it's done, tap Get Started to finish the process. Internet speed tests on Firewalla will automatically pick a server near you. You can now specify which server to use or not to use in the app. To do this, on your main page, tap on Internet Speed up here in your network performance, then tap on the Internet Speed panel right under Recent Events. You'll see some information about your internet speed and then a list of speed test results. Tap on any of these results. Here, you can see that my latest speed test went to a server called eVals. If I want to customize the way I use the server, I can tap on it and then select Always Use This Server or Never Use This Server. Tap Confirm to save your choice. Since I tapped on Always Use This Server, my internet speed test will always go through this server now. If you want to manage this preference, I can just go back to the main internet speed page by hitting the back arrow a couple times then scrolling up and clicking on server selection. Then I can tap on the information icon next to the server name. I can choose to remove the server if I want. You can also see servers that you never want to use on this page. Don't forget to save your changes and that's how you can change your internet speed test server. If your devices are asleep, you can now ping them to wake up directly from the app. You can do this by typing on devices from your main page. Then select a specific device to wake up. I'll choose to wake up my work air. Scroll to the bottom of the device detail page. Select status right here above ports and then tap the button to wake up. A wake on LAN message will be sent from the Firewalla box to your device, and that's how you can wake up a device through the Firewalla app. If you have a VPN connection configured on your Firewalla and you're using Unbound, you can send your DNS requests over your VPN instead of your ISP for an extra layer of privacy. On your main page, scroll down and tap DNS service. Under Unbound, tap on DNS over VPN and then toggle it on. I only have one VPN configured now, but if you have multiple, you can then select which VPN to send your DNS requests over. Hit save to confirm your changes, and that's how you can send your DNS requests over VPN. When you're setting up port forwarding, you can now choose to do it over a specific WAN or VPN interface. From your main page, scroll down and tap on Network, then tap on NAT settings at the very bottom. Then tap on port forwarding, and you'll need to create a new port forwarding by tapping add port forwarding. Tap on interface to choose a WAN or VPN interface. All WANs is selected by default, but you can change this to any WAN or VPN you have set up. I'll just choose my VPN. To finish the setup process, you'll need to type in a name. I'll just use name. Select a protocol. You can choose between TCP and UDP. Type in an external port. I'll just type in 1000 
and then select a device to forward to. Just select ID. You can also change the Ingress firewall if you want to. When you're done configuring port forwarding, just click Save, and that's how you can specify your port forwarding interface.